Hey there, what's up guys? Hey, good to be back with you again today. I kind of wanted to show you a little bit really quick about my setup. I know I've talked about this before. I want to kind of show you exactly what it is that um, I've got set up here on my computer and why this is a little bit different. Um, so those of you who uh, may not know this already, I actually um, use Linux um, instead of using Windows um, for my computer setup. And the computer I'm using this on is not a custom made computer. This is actually a 2019 iMac. Um, so kind of an interesting choice. I know I moved away from uh, Mac's um, operating system uh, about five months ago or so, and it was because a update uh, really kind of made the uh, video card not work so well. I have a lot of problems with um, the way that... Uh, uh, that uh, Apple has been uh, treating those who have uh, purchased these uh, Intel uh, chip computers in the past. And I decided to move on over to Linux, and the truth is that I don't uh, regret it at all. Now, you might wonder, what in the world does this have to do with baseball stuff? And at the moment, it doesn't have that much to do with it, but I'll just show you sort of how I uh, create games or how I uh, create videos and what I do. So here's my computer. I'm using Pop! OS at the moment. This might change. I've been uh, debating moving over to Arc. Um, in fact, I have a uh, Mac uh, MacBook Air from 2013 that I'm probably going to try to put ARC on here if I have time this afternoon, depending upon how quickly I write things. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, show you here. We'll do a little NeoFetch. So uh, there's NeoFetch. If you're not you know, familiar with this stuff, I definitely understand. This is kind of like geek speak and stuff like that. Um, yeah, here, we'll make this a little bit more visible for you. So we'll bring this over here to uh, probably, uh, um, I don't know, something like that. There you go. You can probably see that pretty well, hopefully. So you can see, yeah, it's Pop! OS 22.04 LTS. Um, it's not really that bleeding edge, you know, so this isn't like the latest and greatest of, uh, of Linux. We're using uh, GNOME as the uh, desktop uh, uh, environment, which is okay, I suppose. Um, and I just use the basic uh, pop theme. I haven't messed around with it that much. Um, and uh, let's see what else is interesting here. I actually have two monitors. So there's the one that you see. There's another one over here on the other side that you'll see me look to from time to time. That's where I have OBS running so I can check it like I am right now and make sure that it's actually recording, make sure that the mic's picking up because it's pretty embarrassing when that doesn't happen. So you can see the uh, um, iMac I got has one of these Intel i5-9600K chips. I was really frustrated when I was using uh, Mac OS because I didn't feel a lot of sort of the power of this. Not technically the best chip in the world and I feel like I probably overpaid for it. I know in terms of the GPU, I totally overpaid for it. This thing is really underpowered, but it doesn't matter for the games that we play. And then memory, I actually stuck in some extra RAM. So it's got 40 gigs of RAM. And uh, right now, at least we're only using about eight gigs of it. So uh, that's pretty normal. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's not such a bad operating system um, uh, to use at all. Pop! OS is great. Um, the computer itself, for the money I paid for it, I kind of wish that I created one myself instead of uh, buying one that was uh, pre-built like this. Because as you know, with these uh, Apple computers you can't do anything to service them yourself you can't really take parts off or replace them or anything like that that really sucks um for extra space because this thing comes only with a uh, 500 uh, gigabyte hard drive i have a couple of uh, portable drives that are kind of stashed around here on my desk and i have a uh, this is a thunderbolt hub to uh, keep them all uh, together and i also have that connected to the um, external monitor which is all right but um i mean again i really want to eventually build a computer that probably has multiple drives built built in and has a, a, a setup that's a little bit more desk friendly and a little bit less cluttered. But uh, we take baby steps to get to that. So none of this really matters to you. Yeah, 2,700 packages, 43 flat packs. I don't even know what I have running on that, whatever. The stuff that's interesting is how do we run the games? And so um, this is what I use. I go and use uh, Oracle uh, VirtualBox. I don't think that this is necessarily the best option. I think that if you use... Um, what is it called? QEMU, I think it is, um, to uh, run your um, Windows virtual machine. I think it actually technically works a little bit better. But this runs well enough. I mean, for the games that we're playing, this is good enough in general. I've had to do a little bit of fiddling around with it um, to make sure that we could get a full screen and to make sure that things are uh, being uh, read correctly. All you do is you just click on Start, and then it turns into this. Um, I have uh, here on OBS different uh, screen views, so you can see me over here. This is what I use for Diamond My Baseball. This is what I call screen view. And this you're not going to see much because the camera is not out yet, but uh, when I move it this way, you can see there are the dice. Um, this is what I use for MP3. Um, and uh, this is what happens, so I click into Windows. This is Windows 10 running. Um, yes, and uh, there's not much on this, honestly, other than Diamond My Baseball and um, MP3. So uh, Diamond My Baseball, of course, you just click on this here, and it pops right up. 
version 12 of Diamond Mine Baseball, and we can go straight into it. And here is the uh, here is the replay that we have going. And similarly with NP3, so NP3 is a little bit different, right? I have it here in a, a directory, so I go into my documents and then into NP3, click on NP3 again. And as you can see, I have quite a few um, disks. I actually bought these um, years ago um, and uh, should probably continue buying the uh, virtual uh, card sets for NP3. You want to if you if you're not experienced running MP3, you do want to run it as an administrator, um, as an administrator. Sorry, and um, I have a bunch of things on here, including a lot of these Dynasty um, discs, and so we can look at them, maybe just to um, get you a, a good um, example and good idea of what it looks like. And this is what happens when MP3 comes up. See, so uh, and I move it over here a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Um, works pretty well, right? Everything opens the way that it should. Everything runs the same as if this were a Windows machine. There's not really much of a difference, right? This is a machine that has, what, uh, probably 16 gigs of RAM. Um, and um, it's good enough for playing this. Now, if I were going to play like a Steam game or something on this, it probably wouldn't work so well. But, you know, when I'm playing games like the ones that we play, it works pretty well. You can see here I have uh, 1908 opened up, and uh, this will come up right away. And uh, th this is uh, yesterday, or the game, uh, uh, yes, yesterday, uh, between the Athletics and the Highlanders. And uh, here's what the standings look like. I've talked about this before. The American League are, is really, really tight within three games from the top to the bottom. We're only 11 games in per team, or 12 in one case. But that still is quite significant. That's quite a few, right? Um, whereas in the National League, you see the Cubs and the Pirates and the Giants are starting finally to crawl ahead. And uh, everybody else is kind of down below. Anyway, that's sort of the way that this um, all works. Um, I enjoy this a lot. I'm actually very, very happy that I switched to Linux instead of sticking with uh, Mac OS. Um, the uh, best part about Linux is the amount of customization you can do. One of the reasons why I'm seriously considering switching over to um, Arch is because um, I can then have a lot more um, freedom to customize the uh, packages and other things that I want myself instead of just taking something that's pre-built. Um, and yeah, it's been great. I've enjoyed it a lot. Um, like I said, running these games works just fine. Um, in terms of like keeping up the blog or keeping up a YouTube channel or doing these other things, I haven't had any problems at all. Linux work, runs great. Um, the only concern that I have is that the uh, AMD Radon graphics card that I have is a bit older. So um, with uh, OBS, there's a lot of stuff that I can't really do. Again, it doesn't impact these games that much, but when I play Football Manager, I can tell, and I'm like, boy, I kind of wish that I had better settings or I had better graphics and stuff like that. But, you know, in terms of the stuff that we tend to play for baseball games, it works just fine, man. It's, it's great. It's a lot of fun. It's easy to organize, um, and uh, there are a lot of things that... I no longer have to worry about. Um, I don't know what Windows is necessarily like recently, but I'll tell you that since I've moved to Mac, I never had any blue screen of death type errors. And since moving to Linux, I mean, those problems have been even fewer and further between. And the nicest part is that you can learn something about your computer. So I recommend it if you have the stomach for it. Many of you might not, but um, that's sort of the setup that I have. And uh, that's the way that I run all of this uh, using Linux, not using Windows. And uh, there you have it. There's always another choice. Talk to you later. Bye.